Hi, my name is Thomas Reisinger. I'm the lead author of the present article on the intensity of Poisson spot. Poisson spot is a diffraction phenomenon in the Fresnel regime. It's one of the classical optics experiments in which one observes a positive on-axis interference spot in the shadow cast by a circular disk or a spherical object. Our motivation here at KIT for studying Poisson spot is the prospect of observing it in matter wave diffraction experiments, such as this one here. For that purpose, we prepare beams of neutral low energy molecules and clusters in ultra high vacuum and use spherical submicron particles to cast shadows. The problem of predicting the intensity of Poisson spot is, of course, well understood and was solved a long time ago. This is usually done by numerical solution of the Fresnel Kirchhoff integral. However, in a setup where the wavelength is small, or in more general terms, the Fresnel number is large, this approach can be computationally expensive. For this reason, the authors have looked for a simple equation that can predict its intensity as a function of the most important experimental parameters, such as the diameter of the source or the blocking disk's edge corrugation. In particular, the case of an extended source was important to them since ideal point sources for matter waves are hard to realize. That the source's size affects the intensity of Poisson spot can be best understood by noting that it results in a self-image of an extended source. In other words, if the source, for example, takes the shape of KIT's logo, this will result in an image of the logo in the shadow. In the present article, the authors describe and verify an analytical model for the relative intensity of Poisson spot. That is the intensity of the spot on axis at the shadow center relative to the intensity of the unobstructed wave front. We found that for a uniform extended source of width WS and an ideal disk of radius R, the relative intensity can be described using the sum of a squared zeroth order and a squared first order Bessel function of the first kind. Lambda is the wavelength here and three the distance between the source and the disk. Furthermore, we show that the reduction in intensity due to disk edge corrugation and any support bars keeping the disk in place can be modeled by two additional factors. The authors verify this analytical model using numerical simulation of the Fresnel-Kirchhoff integral and light diffraction experiments. In the experiments, the relative intensity of Poisson spot is measured with a CMOS camera as a function of source and detector distance. As diffraction obstacles, the researchers used laser-cut stainless steel disks varying in diameter, edge corrugation and support structure. The source was made from light emitting devices of three different colors and the source's size determined by pinholes of different diameters. The model and knowing about its limitations is extremely valuable considering our final aim. This is to observe Poisson spot for macromolecules and clusters of atoms to test the quantum mechanical particle wave duality for objects of increasing mass. This has the potential to help us answer a very fundamental problem, namely if the sometimes counterintuitive results of quantum theory apply to our macroscopist realist world in unaltered form. In particular, we are motivated by the tantalizing question if viruses or even tennis balls can be prepared in superpositions of macroscopically distinct states.